Hello everybody, welcome back to Fratellino Academy. Bro, listen, yeah, I know it's like 5.36, bro, and you, you're normally, your school ends at like 2.30, and right now you're like scaffing a game of FIFA. But listen, at Fratellino Academy over here, bro, the learning happens 24-7, 8 days a week, okay? So today, me, I'm going to education you about Pythagoras. Obviously, you know the equation there, the A squared, B squared, C squared, because like they learn it to you from secondary 1 to secondary 5, and supposedly you're going to use it every day in your life. Whatever. Me, I'm more curious here about like, my, who is Pythagoras, but where did this guy come from, right? So that's what I'm going to learn you today. So this is Pythagoras. Fun fact, bro, he's a, he's a, he was a Greek person who grew up in Mykonos, okay? But like his name is actually Spiros. Like he was just like a regular guy. Now what happened is like in 1717 BCB, like before calendars began, all right? There was like a massive crisis of like infestation of like pythons bro right they were like the snakes were coming out and they were biting everybody and people were dying because of the poison ivy that was coming out of their fangs bro so spiros one day was like bro me i need to like figure out like something to save my my people bro right so he ended up doing this triangle uh equation here basically because what happens is is that from the head of the snake to the feet of the person he like calculated that distancing so now that he knows the distance, the snakes could not have bited him, bro. You understand? So he actually saved like 12% of the population, which was like crazy. Because like it was it was serious, bro. It was like there was like the Python like crisis. And like after it was kind of like the coronavirus. But then it was like the Dos Equis virus or something that came after. But that's basically it. So that's why he got the name Pythagoras, bro. Because Pythanos in Greek linguistics is Python. And the situation was very uh, dangerous, which is dangerous in English, bro, right? So they combination those two together, and uh, they gave him the nickname. Fun fact about uh, Spiros is that he died like a couple of years later. He was actually just walking his dog, and his slipper fell off. And when he bent over to pick it up, he actually fell into that like hole in 300. You know when he kicks the guy? That thing is like it's like a lost and found basket, but like you don't find anything. You just lose it, you know. And that's basically it. So like, thank you guys for tuning in to Fatelino Academy. As usual, share this to someone who needs more educationing through this time of like quarantinement, bro. And uh, I'm gonna be seeing you tomorrow with another episode, bro. Ciao.